Salutations once again, internet people. So today I'm talking about jams and clogs on an extruder. So jams are anything inside or before the cold end, and clogs are anything inside the hot end. So let's get to the first step, diagnosis. So depending on how much filament you can put inside the extruder will tell you which one you have, a jam or a clog. So let's just say my left hand is an extruder and my index and thumb are the hobbed bolt. When I try to load filament in there, I can't get the filament past the top of the printer head. And that's because inside this, there is filament before the printer head, but after the hobbed bolt. This is considered a jam. So if there's no filament before your printer head like this, but you still have a problem getting filament past your heat sink, and it kind of feels spongy, it's still a jam. There's something wrong inside the cold end. Now if you can get the filament further into the extruder, and it touches the heat break, you are now at a clog. So this right here is a picture of an E3D V6 print head cutaway. It'll help me as a visual aid to show you what the inside of the extruder looks like. So let's move on to the second step, causes. So let me go back to my hand analogy for a second. So if you break filament off when removing or installing new filament, uh, you're gonna have a jam inside of the extruder carriage. Now, most of us that have E3D V6 print heads don't have this problem because we have a PTFE tubing that runs through this entire length. But if you don't, this can be a major cause of your problem. Now, filament stuck in the cold end is usually not that bad. If you try to put filament through and it feels all spongy, almost just kind of like it's about to go through, then it just gets stuck, then there's a problem with your cooling system. Now, a loose nozzle looks like this. There's pretty much a gap between where your nozzle is and where your heat break is. And there's plastic in between touching your heater block. Now, a partial nozzle clog is self-explanatory. This is what an image of a partial nozzle clog looks like. Not much to see, right? Well, if I zoom in on the image, there's still not much to see. Nozzle clogs are very tiny. Of course, the nozzle itself is less than half of one millimeter. So you can think how easy it is to jam a hose when you put your finger over the nozzle but imagine that hose is only 400 microns in diameter. So this is a vector I created in Illustrator to illustrate the fact that the red is debris and old filament that can be stuck in your nozzle and the black filament is the stuff that's trying to pass through. Now time for step three, the solution to the problem. So jams are pretty easy. So let's go back to my hand being the extruder. Pretty much when you have a jam, you usually can go inside and grab tweezers and pull the filament out. But if the filament's too far into the extruder for you to pull out, all you have to do is remove these two bolts on the side, and once you remove the two bolts, the extruder will fall right out, and you can go inside and remove the filament. Now, if you look down inside your extruder and you don't see any filament at the top of your printer head, it might just be a cooling issue, and all you have to do is just check the fan cooling the heatsink. Now, clogs are a bit more tricky. If you have a loose nozzle, I actually have a video on how to remove and replace your E3D V6 nozzle. When you remove it, you have to clean the plastic out from your heater block, but when you put it back on, you should be fine. Now, if you have a partial nozzle clog or a full nozzle clog, 3D Printed Life has a great video on how to do this with some nylon. He actually sells a kit that has nylon and some very small gauge wire that allows you to remove jams inside your printer. Be sure to go check them out. Now for the final step. Future prevention. One of the first things you want to do is make sure when you're installing and removing filament, you're not doing it so aggressively because if you break filament inside your extruder, you're going to give yourself a jam. Second thing, you want to make sure that your fan on your print head is always on. If it starts to become intermittent and or starts to lose its speed, make sure you check your wiring and or replace the fan. You also want to make sure that you're seasoning your printer and have an oiler if you use PLA like I do. This makes a thin film of oil between the metal on your extruder and your actual plastic and prevents direct contact from happening so that the plastic doesn't get gummed up and stuck to the metal on the printer. There's a sticky thread on the Robo3D community forum you can check out if you have any more questions or want more details details about it. I'll have a link below in the description to that thread on the Robo3D forum. So I hope this video helps you diagnose, understand, solve, and or prevent problems with clogs and jams on your 3D printer in the future. If you have any questions about this video or suggestions for future videos, make sure you leave your comments down below. If you like this video right here, and want to see more like it, make sure you click that subscribe button 
and thanks for watching.